Hi everyone, it's Maggie, and as you can see by my desk, I went shopping today. And by shopping, I mean I went to one little shop in the next town over that um, sells vintage items and glassware and um, household items and jewelry and all that kind of stuff. Um, I went in to see what they had and I mean the whole place was just a it was a treasure trove. But I was looking for doilies and I found them. Uh, so let me show you what I picked up. And um, before I tell you that, um, I already took the little tags off and everything because I do want to wash everything. Um, nothing costs more than uh, $2 except for one thing, and that I will show you. Um, it's in the pile. It was actually $8, but everything else was either $1 dollar or two dollars so let me show you what I got so here's a square doily and I think I might have gotten two of those but um oh wait a minute there's actually um, three but this these two are a little different these two are the same as each other but they're different from that other one so I got those little doilies I got this little piece which will make a very nice um, page in a needle book or fabric book this package little of little doilies there's 10 in the package and I got those for two dollars I did leave that on there got to take that off and then I got this beautiful doily here and I just love this one And then I got this one, and this is actually a cover to some type of dish or something. And I wasn't sure what it was at first, but Trisha, little shabby chic, I was on Skype with her, and I was showing her what I got, and um, I was showing her this one, actually. Love that. And I said... Have you ever seen one with, you know, like a lip? And she said, well, that, that would be for a, a cover for a dish, you know, to keep things hot or probably if you're outside, it would, you know, definitely keep the insects off. But that does make sense. And it's also interesting. And then this is the only um, colored one I got, but I thought this was really pretty. Somebody uh, must have used variegated blue yarn, and they crocheted that. And then I got this large one. I can't even, like, I'm not going to get it all in the camera, but you can see I got that one. And this is actually a duplicate of that. And then I got this one. And they're all around the same size. They're just different patterns of crochet. And I got this one. Isn't that beautiful? And a lot of them are stained or, you know, little stains, or they might have a couple rips in it. But that's okay, because if I can't get the stains out um, washing, then I'll just coffee dye it. And then there's this one. This is, um, these are actually um, 
linens, I think you would call them, but they're so pretty. And some of them have the um, crocheting around the edges, but there's this, and this is perfect for, again, a page in a fabric book. And then there's this one. I don't know if it's a handkerchief or what, but I do like the um, crochet around it. And I love the ones with the material in the middle because you could stamp on them. There's so many things you can do. This one's discolored, but I think um, I might be able to get it out. If not, this would look really nice tea dyed or coffee dyed. And then um, these two were in a pack for a dollar. And they're just... Um, I guess it's some old material and someone cut out a piece that's got two of these panels on there. Uh, let me see if I have something that I can put it up against so you could actually see it. Let me just take this. We'll use that. Yeah, you can see against that but these are really pretty really pretty so that's that piece and then here's the other piece sorry about this boy I'm always doing something in these videos that I wish I hadn't done <laughs> so here's the other piece and they're really pretty they're unusual. Okay, so let me get rid of that for now. And then there's this beautiful um, fabric runner. And it's a long one. It's very sheer. And there's no stains or anything on it. There's just a lot of threads um, that I need to cut off. But I just thought this was so pretty. So I got that. And then this one does have some stains on it, but I mainly got it for the, well, there's one stain here, but that's the only stain on this one. I mainly got it for the trim around it, but I will, um, if I can't get that stain out, I'll definitely coffee dye it because uh, diet because that looks almost like a coffee stain on there already anyway <laughs> and then there's be this beautiful piece I love these vintage pieces that have discolored over time look at that isn't that beautiful they're just so beautiful and they're so soft There's this one. I thought that was kind of cute. Let me use that background again so you can see, actually see the pattern on it. I thought that one was pretty. And then this one, I love all the work around it. It's like a little round table. Um, for a little round table and look at the work on that it's just beautiful and it goes all the way around I just love that and then this is one of my favorite pieces I wish there had been more of this but there's just the one piece and Trisha and I were going over this one too, and and she thinks that it was um, painted and then embroidered, and I think she's right. Um, the leaves on it are just embroidered, but if you look, I want to get this close so you can actually see the detail, but the rose here, sorry if there's a shadow too, um, all the... Um, 
edges are stitched, but the colors, like in the green in this leaf here, it, I think because the material itself is the same, but you can see, um, you know, variations in shade. So I do think that um, it was hand painted and then um, embroidered. But isn't that beautiful? Look at there's there's the whole scene of it. I think that's just absolutely gorgeous. And who whoever had this um, kept it really clean because there's there's no marks on it or anything. So I was really happy to find this. That's my favorite uh, piece. And then I got some runners. This one was um, starting to fall apart, but that's okay because I plan on washing and um, cutting it up. But there's uh, some doilies for flower centers or doily flowers. And then there's this pretty piece here. Looks like somebody might have already tea dyed it. Isn't that beautiful? And there's no, um, there's no marks on this one. No um, stains or or imperfections on that one. And then this is the piece I paid eight dollars for, and I think it was worth every penny. And I will not be cutting this one up. Here is the pattern. Look at that. And this is, the, I'm showing you half of it. This is half of it. That's how, there it is. <laughs> That's half. That's how long it is. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. That's This is all just half of it. So I will be using this somewhere um, in my room, but I will not cut that up. This one will be cut up because there's some um, stains on it that I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to get out. And there are um, a couple of hairs in it but this is the same pattern as the one I just showed you only it's in cream color it's not as long but it is it is pretty long but it's not as long as that one and like I said there's some um, a few stains and there's a huge rip spot right there on the edge that I won't be able to to fix so this one will get cut up and it's very soft too it's really soft some of them are you know they're soft and then others are rough and others are you know they're not really rough but they're not really soft either this one's kind of a rough one and there's some staining on this also but um for two dollars I wasn't gonna let the stains bother me and this is different the, there's doilies little doilies but it's actually only up the middle but you have all this crochet around it and this is a pretty good size one too this is probably close to the size of the one I just showed you before this And then I got some of these. I love these for fabric books and wall hangings. There's this. And then there's this little one. It's almost like a banner. And then there's this one. And these are a little on the on the rough side, but they do um, make 
really nice vintage uh, wall hangings. And then this one, one, two, three, four, five. There's five of these. They're all the same. Look at that. I And I love the shape. I mean, it's perfect for for a page. There's a little bit of, um, you know, imperfection somewhere and tear in that on these, but not every one of them, but on a couple of them. And that's, that's okay. That just adds to it. That can be hidden. And then there's this one. And this is, again, is kind of a banner, but there is a little hole in that. But these were only, um, a, this one was 50 cents for that one, and then this one, it was a dollar for the both of them. So this one's in perfect shape, though, and it's the same. And then there's this one, and I'm trying to, okay, this is like a wide banner here, and it's got tassels on the bottom. I'd love to know how old some of these are. I think they're they're just amazing. And then there's this one. And this also would make a really great page in a fabric book. And then this this larger one. Oops, sorry. There's that one. And then there was um, a bag of two things. And the bag said $2, and it said hurt. And um, I was wondering, you know, what they meant by hurt. But for $2, I, you know, I really... It didn't matter to me, but um, now I understand it is, <laughs> the poor thing is hurt, but, you know, there's holes in it in between and that, but look at this, look at that, look at the doilies, and they're so different, I don't think I've ever seen ones like this. And the stitching, these little pieces here, they're actually like three-dimensional. So it'll be interesting um, cutting some of these up. But um, there's no um, stains on it. There is some discoloration because of, um, you know, how old it probably is. But... Other than the holes, which doesn't matter because I am, you know, after I wash it, I will cut it up. But um, other than that, you know, it's fine. And so I can't wait to see what they look like once they're um, cut apart. So there was that one. And then this piece here, this was the other heart piece. And... I'm not sure what I'll do with this. This, because this is huge also, but I think it's, it's like too big for um, cut. You can't really, I don't think, cut it up. And there's a couple of, um, there's like, there's a hole there. You can see. But I might be able to use it on my candy station table and you know parts of it would be covered up um, with pieces but I mean you can tell it's just so old and somebody made this so I will find a use for it somewhere so that's uh, the last thing to show you from my finds at this little antique store 
And so let me know what you think. Um, leave a comment if you'd like. And I will um, be back again soon. Sorry, it's really late. And as soon as I'm done with this, I, I am going to go to bed because I'm pretty tired. But I did want to get this video done so I can put it up first thing in the morning. So thanks everyone for watching. And I will see you again soon. Bye.